In this problem, we have a rational expression over a rational expression inside absolute value signs. All right, so it could be a little tricky. Let's try to figure it out. The first thing we need to look at is there's nothing on the outside of the absolute value signs on this side of the equal sign. So we can go ahead and make our two cases. The first case is going to be 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 3 without the absolute value signs equals positive 2. And the other side is going to be the same thing, but it's going to be a negative 2. So 3x minus 2 over 2x minus 3 equals negative 2. All right, the next thing you want to do is take this bottom and multiply both sides by the bottom, by the denominator, I should say, so times 2x minus 3. I'm going to do that to both problems, 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. What that will do is cancel the denominator on the left side for both, both problems, leaving us with just the top, 3x minus 2, and then... On the other side, if I think about this like distributing, 2 times 2x and 2 times negative 3 is going to be 4x minus 6. On this one, if I do it all real quick here, it's 3x minus 2 equals, again, distribute that negative 2, negative 4x plus 6. Then we just solve both these separately, and that will be our two answers. On this one, it looks like I can subtract 3x on both sides and add 6. Leave me with 4 equals 1x, or just x. So that's one solution. And on this problem, let's see, subtract 3x, and I want to add 4. Add 4x to both sides, and that gives me 7x minus 2 equals 6. Add 2, add 2, so 7x equals 8, divide by 7, and x equals 8 sevenths, and my other answer, x equals 4.